name is Jordi Sander. I'm a senior product manager for Cinemedia, focused on our content provider solutions in the video processing business unit. We've built a very solid ecosystem with our VDCM encoder, PowerView network control, and our 9800 edge receiver that allows uh, content providers to get their programming to the service providers who then takes it to the consumer. That's been a very satellite-centric arena for the longest time. But recently, there's been challenges in that space that have um, allowed us to introduce new technologies to tackle those challenges. Some of them are head-end consolidation, which reduced the number of endpoints. We've had the internet connectivity and fiber connectivity increase, um, and also the associated technologies there. We've had uh, data center technology being introduced, and also the 5G spectrum reclaiming that affected our satellite customers a lot. So that's where Zixi has made the biggest impact by introducing that additionally to our satellite distribution. We were looking for a technology that could lower the cost of the transmission, but still offer the same reliability. And that's where Zixi was the obvious choice based on the feedback we've got from customers, their successes in the contribution space. So it was an obvious uh, choice to implement uh, Zixi uh, in our platform. So when we um, were faced with the challenge of uh, offering additional technologies for delivery for, uh, with satellite, um, we looked around and you know, Zixi had already a good reputation in the contribution space, had a lot of customers um, that had good, given us good feedback. So when we had to make a choice, Zixi was, of course, the one that we first uh, embarked on. So Cinemedia's focus is helping content providers deliver their programming to service providers. And we're taking advantage of that, of adding new monitoring tools to our solution and also offering uh, you know, our devices into Zixi's platforms to expose that information to the customer and help their mean time to repair, their troubleshooting, um, and so on. Uh, also, all that data can help um, build out artificial intelligence solutions as well, where the network is aware of what's going on and adapt based on all that information that is now exposed through these IP delivery protocols. AI has been uh, you know, touted by a lot of different companies, um, and with all that data that is now available over uh, IP delivery, this is going to come for real over the next couple of years, where the networks can adapt themselves um, help monitor and troubleshoot um, and you know, help their operations a lot in their day-to-day -day activities. 